This is 10 News at Noon. Welcome back. We are in the kitchen now with Betty Henry from B&G Catering, and she is going to be making some peppermint cookies. And I got to tell you, Betty, these smell awesome. Well, you know, it's that time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Put a candy cane in everything. Diets <laughs> do not matter starting exactly now because right. we're two weeks out to Christmas. That's right. That's and these right. kind of remind me of peanut blossoms a little bit. They are that kind of cookie, yes, but it it's not the same taste at all. No. Okay. But perfect. it looks the same. So you start with a, ha a cup of uh, real butter that's softened and one and a half cups of sugar. And I have mixed that up to where it's kind of. We call it fluffy. So but that's just butter and sugar. That's in there? just butter and sugar in there. That so looks if you mix good. it long enough, <laughs> I'd eat that just like that. It looks really Ooh. good. And when you mix it long enough, though, it, it gets this fluffy look in there. Yeah. It. And then to that, you're going to add two eggs. Okay. We got the butter, the sugar, and the eggs. Perfect Three stuff for cookies. Cookie essentials. Yeah. That's right. And then now this sounds like a lot, but it's a tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Somebody will call and say, did you really mean that? Yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of the base? That's kind of the base for a lot of cookies, right? For a lot right? of cookies, okay. yes. And so then to this, we are putting, a, again, it's a lot, a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. You usually use teaspoons of stuff like that, but this takes a tablespoon. Okay. And then a half of a teaspoon of salt. Awesome. And get all that incorporated. And then to that, you're going to add three and a half cups. This is just regular plain flour. Yeah. You don't have to sift it. You don't have to do anything. Just, oh, that's easy then. Yeah. Add it to it. And you just do a little bit of time. Yeah. There you go. A little bit more than what I should it's have. It's a kitchen. We're supposed to get dirty. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's right. Flour everywhere. I, so funny story. We have a KitchenAid mixer. We got it for our wedding three years ago. We uh -huh. have not touched it. Oh, no. It's a kitchen decoration. It makes us look like we know how to cook, but every time someone pulls this out, I'm like, I can do it. I can you do can it. You can do it. It's so easy. I, I'll tell you, I have gone, I have used a lot this of this. This one has gotten its fair share of use in it. I think that I have gone through, I think this is like my fourth or fifth one. Plus, oh, I have, gosh. you know, some big ones too, but. Okay, I'm so we got get, the flour in there. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm going to use the... Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, get that on in there. Get that in there. Okay, so that's the three and a half cups of flour. So you can tell it's making a good day. Yeah. And then I just took three of these regular candy canes. Yeah. I crushed them up. I put them in a piece of wax paper and just kind of banged yeah. them together. And so you have crushed candy cane. All that's right, the only that. peppermint that you're adding to that. 30 seconds. We want to okay. make sure we get it all so in there. So then you're going to bake it on a grease sheet at 400 degrees for about nine to ten minutes okay when you take it out while it's still warm put some of these Hershey kisses yeah. just right down the center of it that's what makes it like the peanut butter blossom cookie yeah and these can be found in any grocery store it's just a Hershey's peppermint kisses. perfect Betty so, this looks absolutely amazing if people want you or for any catering are you busy coming up the holiday we're season busy, but that's okay okay well, <laughs> we're still taking orders can we reach out to you through Facebook yeah email? or there at the shop the number six eight seven eight eight five six and we're taking orders for all kinds of cakes and pies and cookies and all kinds of stuff she's got you covered yep. if you're like me and you need some help <laughs> all right do you ever wish you could just forget a memory well now new research shows